In this video, you'll see how to monitor your Google Cloud Platform or GCP environment using Amazon Managed Grafana. With this service, you can get a consolidated view of data, visualize metrics from your Google Cloud environment, and monitor the health and performance of applications. To get started, let's create an Amazon Managed Grafana workspace to visualize metrics from Google Cloud Monitoring. First, we'll give the workspace a name. On the second step, we'll retain the settings for authentication access and permission type. Note that AWS Single Sign-On, or AWS SSO, must be enabled. Next, we'll configure the IAM Permission Access settings to allow Grafana to monitor resources in our current account. We'll indicate the specific data sources we want Grafana to consume and visualize data from, and then specify the applicable notification channels. Now, we'll review the settings and create the workspace. Once the workspace has been provisioned, we can assign users to it. By default, users will have viewer permissions. We'll make this user an admin. Now let's navigate to the Grafana workspace and start configuring the data source. We'll sign in using AWS SSO. Before adding Google Cloud Monitoring as a data source, the Amazon Managed Grafana workspace needs certain permissions to integrate with Google Cloud Monitoring and pull metrics. For the purposes of this demonstration, a virtual machine has already been created. This is the virtual machine that we'll monitor metrics for. Let's take a quick look. Here you can see the virtual machine is running. Next, let's ensure the Stack Driver Monitoring and Cloud Resource Manager APIs have been enabled. To provide Amazon Managed Grafana with access to these APIs, let's create a service account. First, we'll provide a service account name. Next, let's assign the monitoring viewer role to the service account. To enable Amazon Managed Grafana to log into GCP, we'll create a new key. Let's download the key as a JSON file. We've now completed the prerequisites to allow Amazon Managed Grafana to connect to GCP. Let's return to the Grafana workspace and add Google Cloud Monitoring as the data source. Here, we'll upload the key that we downloaded earlier. Now let's save and test the data source. Once you add Google Cloud Monitoring as a data source, it automatically provisions several dashboards. We'll import the GCE VM Instance Monitoring dashboard. As you can see, Amazon Managed Grafana has already started monitoring information about the virtual machine, including CPU utilization, uptime, and disk read and write operations. We can configure a Grafana alert to be triggered when a metric increases beyond the intended threshold. Before we do that, we need to create a couple of notification channels. Let's navigate to a Cloud9 environment to create an SNS topic. Next, we'll subscribe to the topic we created. An email will be sent asking us to confirm the subscription. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll skip this step and move on with configuring the notification channels. Here, we'll enter the notification channel details. Let's navigate to the Amazon SNS console to copy the ARN of our SNS topic. We'll provide the ARN and the auth provider, and then test the new channel. The test notification sent successfully, so we'll save the channel. Next, we'll create a Slack notification channel. In order to do this, we need to set up some prerequisites. First, we'll navigate to the Slack API and create a new app. 
We'll give the app a name and choose the workspace to develop our app in. In order for Amazon Manager Grafana to send notifications to Slack, we'll enable incoming webhooks. Now let's add a new webhook to the workspace. We'll select the channel where the notifications will be posted, and then allow the app to access the workspace. Let's copy the webhook URL that was generated, which we'll use later. Now let's return to the Grafana dashboard and create the new Slack notification channel. We'll paste in the webhook URL we copied and then test the channel. The test notification appears in the Slack channel, indicating Amazon Managed Grafana successfully integrated with Slack. Let's save our changes. Now let's return to the dashboard to create the alert. We'll configure an alert for CPU utilization and specify Google Cloud Monitoring as the data source. Next, we'll set the alignment period to one minute and then create the alert. Let's set the alert to trigger when the CPU usage exceeds 1% in a one minute period. Alert notifications will be sent through the channels we configured earlier. Let's add a notification message and then test the rule. Everything looks good, so we'll save the rule and then apply it. After refreshing the page, we can see that the alert has been configured and the status shows as healthy. Now let's add some load to the virtual machine so that we generate an alert. As you can see, the health of the CPU usage is already decreasing. Within a few seconds, it goes to an alerting state. The CPU usage has exceeded the threshold generating a CPU utilization alert in our Slack channel. You've just seen how to monitor your GCP environment using Amazon Managed Grafana. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.